or almost everybody, every presentation starts with the quote, so uh, you cannot get water out of the stone uh, unless you are a prophet, says the Book of Numbers 2011, or you choose to use the proper tools. Uh, first of all, there are three good news. Uh, uh, there's only this presentation and we have a break. Uh, I will do my best to, to make it quick and there will be Mm, sweet prizes at the end. So I would like to tell you a story, not a fairy tale, but a true story that answers the following tough questions. Uh, how to integrate a new closed system uh, into application landscape, how much it will cost in time and money, and how can you rescue the sales and operations by making the authority happy. Just a few words about me. Uh, I will not repeat them. So let's just, let's just skip to, to the next slide. And I would like to invite you to a little game quiz. There are a few cotton pictures and there will be a question at the end. Uh, so now listen very carefully. I shall, uh, I shall say this only once. So let's start with the need. Uh, it was mid-2013, almost three years ago, when my company wanted to introduce new, new claim system, and of course it needed an integration. Uh, I have already built an integration platform those days, uh, so my CFO said, there's a budget for the new system, but no budget for another integration. You have already uh, built one, so we have it. So just take care of, of, of that, find something if you need to. Uh, but of course, it has to be hmm, an open source and you have to meet mm, the deadline. So basically, I was on my own. I needed a good idea first. So no money and no addi additional time means it has to be simple. I also would like to uh, keep an existing logic in uh, existing ENI as I, I know it. Uh, and the idea was to create just an ESB layer to translate the messages or between the new system and the old, the old logic. Looks brilliant and simple, doesn't it? But how to do this? So how to choose the best, uh, best product when everyone wants to, wants to help? So I needed a full-blown ESP to support real integration. Uh, so I started with the uh, big players, the ones that I have already uh, had some experience with, Mule and uh, JBoss. But still, I wasn't able to, to choose between them. So I started with defining the criteria. It has to be an open source, as I said before. Uh, no programming, as I had no programmers available at that time. It has to be uh, easy to learn, to meet the deadlines. And, of course, reliable and, and quick. It also should have uh, documentation and examples and talk uh, the enterprise integration patterns, a like common language in integration, also to shorten the uh, learning curve. So, uh, and also I, I aimed for uh, high, so it should be more than just ESB in case we, uh, we need it for, for the future. So none from, from the, uh, uh, not only the systems uh, fully qualified for the job, so I sought further. Uh, none convinced me that they were big, complex, uh, too heavy, and some of them wouldn't, wasn't uh, uh, reliable. So, uh, I, and I was just, just seeking for, for something to, to fill the gap. So, fortunately, I came across WSO2. I can't remember when or why, but it must have been on internet. So then the first call, I have to make up my mind. And the decision was 
WSO2, that's why I'm here, and it was laugh at first sight. So I, uh, I thought it was the best in class. It's an open source supported by the company uh, in case we need a support or help later. Um, the whole platform consists of many, uh, many different products, ranging from ESB through API to B business uh, processes and analytics, just in case we would like to take, take over the responsibility of integration in our company. Uh, it also has a very long uh, reference list and an eBay 1 billion transactions a day uh, convinced me it will scale as, as I grow or the company grows. And it does, as we, as we hear, uh, there are mm, five or up to six billion transactions a day now. Uh, and was the best candidate to, to replace to, uh, the old uh, integration. So let's give it a try and check whether the choice is good. So I just started with the proof of concepts, reading documentation, and uh, going through examples step by step, um, making my own first uh, hello world proxy. And after a few days, I was able to, uh, to make a working proof uh, alone. Remember, no additional budget and no resources available. Then I started to have some doubts. Maybe all that glitters is not gold. So there were some, some questions that popped up uh, in my mind. Uh, so first of all, the product was a bit different from uh, what I get used to, uh, because I, I used to have everything in one place. Uh, database, communication, uh, messages, queuing, uh, business logic, integration. And uh, here, here um, I had uh, different products. Uh, it took me some time to realize it's not that bad uh, because I have many different products to, to choose from. And maybe it's even, it's even better uh, to have it focused on, on a specific need uh, than, um, than have a one, one and only uh, solution. And good, I finally found the answers to my questions. So, it's good to be the winner. So I was so convinced the product was worth uh, much more than I decided to, uh, to move all integration processing to WSO2. And I tried two other um, team members. And after a year, uh, ended up uh, having migrated all the processing to ESB and appointed WSO2 as an integration of first choice. After a while, there was a need to introduce electronic payments. Uh, so mm, we developed the functionality purely in uh, WSO2 ESB uh, just to make sure and confirm that uh, it, uh, can, um, uh, it, can, it can be done and it can take over the responsibility of integration. Uh, and we develop uh, all, now we develop all new interfaces in WSO2 and uh, we even switched more recently to REST and JSON to uh, internal development flexibility. But still, I want, wanted to fly higher. So I took a step forward the uh, reliability and uh, high availability. Uh, so I started to think uh, about clustering uh, the WSO2 products. And it took only a couple of days to, to create a first cluster with load balance servers. And due to consistent carbon platform, uh, it could be easily extended to, to all the products. So now uh, every product runs on two similar machines to provide load balance, reliability, and redundancy. And this is the technology uh, we, use, we use for that. Uh, and also it... Uh, proved uh, itself as we experienced some data metrics uh, uh, problems and thanks to, to the zero message loss paradigms. So we, we just, the way we've built uh, our integration, 
uh, we were in the company was able to survive almost two weeks uh, until the uh, metrics got fixed. Time ambitious, so that was not enough. Uh, we have a lot of regulatory requests uh, regarding IT procedures, architecture and infrastructure. They are called recommendations, but no one dares not to fulfill them. And one of the toughest or most difficult to meet is DMZ closure, which means that publicly available application cannot uh, or must not connect to LAN network. And our uh, web sales portal gives over 90% of sales. Uh, so it's either um, be uh, redeveloped or will be closed as, is, as it doesn't meet the, the requirement. And this is where uh, WSO2 again comes in hand uh, because using existing installations uh, of ESB, uh, I was able to prove uh, I could build the infrastructure to support this one-way DMZ communication tunnel using WSO2 products and in about an hour. There's still a lot of to do, but uh, I confirmed it can be done. And other co insurance companies from, from uh, our group uh, are very interested in applying the same, the same solution. And I look forward to, uh, to using the new gateway product family uh, to reduce the overhead and improve the performance even further. And what's beyond the horizon? So the plans for tomorrow, <laughs> maybe not literally, uh, are to test new products analytics, uh, event processor, business process server, and to finally decommission the old AI, uh, then are also secure the solution, and also we are heading the new, uh, new portal, a new mobile application, so just to publish a public API and do Internet of, of Things. As I, and as I heard from this, from this conference, there are a lot of things to, to explore and discover, like ESB.5, hybrid integration, and microservices. So, that's it for, for the presentation.